Yes, but you don't have to go very far down the line of judging yourself, feeling upset with yourself, feeling angry. Because once you've, you can only judge yourself once you've noticed that you've departed from the self that you have understood yourself to be. So all you need to do is notice that. Instead of allowing that noticing to grow into a judgment, and then to grow into the feeling of anger, or disappointment, or shame, or guilt. And then have to make yourself, work yourself all the way back from there. Just, j just don't go far, don't go further than noticing that you have mistaken yourself for an object or a collection of objects, when in fact you know that what you essentially are is the knowing subject. Just all you need to do is notice that and then reset yourself. Instead of allowing the noticing to become a judgment, the judgment to become anger, the anger to become shame, the shame to become guilt, the guilt to become disappointment, and then trace your way all the way back again. It's not necessary. Take a shortcut. Just notice it. Reset. And the more the more often you do that, the, the easier you'll find it. At the moment, there's a habit of noticing judgment, anger, guilt, shame, etc. It, it's a well-worn, it, it happens almost automatically. You're already feeling guilty before you've, but before you've noticed yet. Just, that's just a habit. But it, if, you, if you break that habit, if you just notice it and reset, you'll be surprised how quickly that habit goes. And would that be that when you feel the pain or the anger at that moment to let, to sit with it and just allow it and know it's there and don't judge that? Because I think it's the judgment on the judgment that eventually creates that. Well, you can do two things. So you're, you're feeling anger. You can do, take two approaches. One is the Vedantic approach and one is the Tantric approach. You can take either. They both lead to the same place. The Vedantic approach, the way of discrimination, is to see immediately that there is this turmoil of feelings and thoughts called anger. There, it, it's a mixture of feelings and thoughts. And you are the one that is aware of them. I am aware of my feelings. I am aware of my thoughts. Well, that's the Vedantic path, to notice I am not my feelings, I am not my thoughts, I am that which is aware of them. That, that will take you straight back. That will put you straight back in the right position. I am consciousness. I am the experience of being aware. I am nothing that I am aware of. Or you can take the tantric approach, which is a path of inclusion, not a path of exclusion. And in this approach, you don't separate yourself out from the anger and say, I am not this, I am not this, I am not this. You see that the anger itself, your only experience of the anger itself is the knowing of it. W would you agree with that? When you're feeling anger, the only stuff present in the feeling is your awareness of it, your knowing of it. Yes. And the knowing out of which your anger is made is exactly the same knowing out of which the taste of ice cream or the feeling of sunshine on your face is made. So in this case, in the tantric approach, you, you don't move away from the experience of anger, but you surf the experience of anger itself back to its source or essence. And they both amount to the same thing. You go whichever way in that moment feels most comfortable feels most natural. In other words, either go to the awareness behind the anger, the one that is aware of it, or the knowing in the midst of the anger, out of which the anger is made. In other words, in both cases, lose interest in the anger. The anger is the coloring of the screen. Don't be interested in the coloring of the temporary coloring of the screen. You are interested in the screen itself. 
which is the all there is to the coloring. The screen is all there is to the movie. So awareness or consciousness or pure knowing is all there is to your anger. And that pure knowing is not itself inherently angry. It is unconditioned. This is what um, the Shankaracharya meant when he said, "Even his, even hatred is made out of love." He was talking about this, this, um, the tantric path. If you, instead of saying, "I am not this feeling of hatred," and locating yourself as awareness in the background, but if you go deeply into the feeling of hatred itself, what is its irreducible, essential nature? If you go far enough, you'll find the feeling of love, the experience of love, which is another name for consciousness. <laughs>